Hey guys, Frank here and welcome in our studio. Today we're going to demonstrate the difference between the XL Rogue Flash Bender, the Frank Dorof edition, and the large Flash Bender. Now the Flash Benders are one of the most versatile light shapers out there. Now we all know the bounce card, right? And the idea of the bounce card is to not get that harsh quality of light directly on your model, but to get it a little bit softer. The main disadvantage of a bounce card is that the light actually travels up and it doesn't really hit that bounce card. So you do get a little bit more light on your model, a little bit softer, but you also lose a lot of light by just going up in air. With the flash bender, we can actually bend the flash bender and that way get more light on our model. Now the flash bender is designed, the large version, to also be used on speed lights on camera. Now if you are afraid that your speed light will bend forwards, just press on the sides of your speed light head and just tilt it around. And that way you lock it in that position so it can still go back but it can't go forward. So in other words, if you have your strokes like this, it can still bend that word but not that side. Very easy trick. But for today we're using it on a GT200 from Gigoto, that's a rectangular strobe. But it also fits of course on your round strokes. Now for this light setup, I'm not going to use the flash bender straight on my model. I want a little bit more contrast in my image. So I'm going to place it on the side of our model, very close to our backdrop. And I'm going to use a technique called feathering. And even with flash bender, you can feather your light. The main advantage of feathering is that you get a softer quality of light. But you can also create nice effects on the backdrop. Now because I place my flash bender on the side, I can literally, if I want more light on the backdrop, I can of course angle my strobe, but I can also just bend the sides of the flash bender and get more light on the backdrop. That's the cool thing about the flash bender. But hey, enough talk about the flash bender. Let's go with our model to our studio. <laughs> let's place it on our stand and let's create some images with the large flash bender. And after that, we're going to show you the difference with the Frank Dorof edition. Okay guys, so we showed you the large flash bender. Now this is the Frank Dorof edition. This is the XL flash bender. Now there's a huge difference between the two and not only in size, but it's actually also the material. The large flash bender uses a white fabric and this one uses soft silver. Now the soft silver will give you a little bit of an edge to your lighting, something that I absolutely love. It's not a harsh shadow, but it's just between soft and a little bit harsher. And it gives you a little bit more a light output, which is absolutely great, of course, when you use it as a softbox or a strip light. But there's more. Because it's a larger flash bender, it's easier to bend the light. And that's actually what we're going to show you now. We're going to place it in the same position as the large flash bender. But now, by just moving the sides of the light, I can create less or more light on the backdrop much easier. But there's something else. So by using it like this, I can actually create a very nice patterns on the backdrop. So let's, for example, try to get a little bit more light around her head area and a little bit darker on the bottom. With the flash bender, you get effects that you can't do with any other light source. But hey, we can talk about it for hours. Let's go and let's take some images with Lois. As you can see, the large flash bender is great, 
but the XL Flash Bender is very, very versatile. And let's be honest, even if your bag is completely filled up, the Flash Bender folds up very flat and will fit in your bag. So if you want more information about the Rogue products or the Flash Benders, check out rogueflash.com or rogueflash.nl for the Benelux. Thank you so very much for watching, guys, and see you again next time. Bye.